Activision will not stop lying and does not respect their player base, do not respect the people who are their customers. And in this video, we've been exposing a couple of huge lies that should make you honestly just quit playing the game right now. Quit playing Black Ops 6, quit playing Call of Duty. Anyone playing this game who isn't somehow destroying the franchise by breaking videos like I am doing needs to back the fuck out because you're doing nothing but supporting the worst game and the worst development team and the worst publisher in gaming history. Firstly, firstly, they are lying about their cheating. Secondly, they are lying about their algorithms and they're also lying about how many people are playing this game and they're lying to their shareholders, they're lying to us and they do not tell the truth about anything. But let me get into what Activision said today. Oh, the, the numbers they have released that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is the biggest Call of Duty launch of all time. In the first 30 days, number one total players, number one hours played, and number one total match. Do you see how they are trying to lie right out the gate, how this is lawyer speak? It doesn't say number one most sold game. It doesn't say the highest player count ever. No, number one total players. What does that mean? Total players, doesn't matter what it means. They're all lying. I can prove to you actually what the numbers are. I can prove to you that this game didn't do as well as they say it did. And I can prove to you just in that sentence alone, number one total players. How many people have quit though? Let me just get to that really quickly here before I even expose how much nonsense this is. How many people just quit? And also all these numbers are absolutely inflated because Call of Duty Black Ops 6 was available on Game Pass, which has like 30 or 40, I think actually up to 50 million people as active subscribers to Game Pass. So that right there is just gonna pump the numbers up. But however, even though they're trying to tell you it's number one, I can prove to you right now, it didn't even beat Fortnite. And we can look at how many actual people are playing Fortnite, and then we can see that if they don't have the numbers to beat Fortnite, then they don't have the numbers to actually say that they are the number one total played. Guys, it's great, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is back. I'm a Call of Duty chill. I'm super excited to play Black Ops 6. I'm really, really excited for the movement. So far, it's been an absolute blast. The guns feel unique. The maps feel like Treyarch maps. It's Treyarch. They could. I know where I'm going all weekend. I know what I'm doing for the next three months. I am grinding this title. Stay you are fake news. So Game Pass, once again, has completely inflated those numbers, but still didn't inflate them enough to be the number one game on October and November. Fortnite is still beating Call of Duty. And that also encompasses not just Black Ops 6, encompasses Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 6, Warzone. So you have to put together every single Call of Duty in the last five years, plus the free to play Warzone Rebirth Island, and that still did not have enough to dethrone Fortnite. Now, if we go look at Fortnite, we can log in right now and you can see all the people and all the games and everything that is being played at the opening screen because Fortnite doesn't hide their numbers, they actually show your numbers. So we can see Zero Build has 400,000, you can see Reloaded has 30,000, you can see Battle Royale has 550,000 playing right now, Rank 240, Rank Reload 140, 35,000, 39,000 for Rank Zero Build. I mean, and also all the other ones that are made by creators and content creators and just random people. What, 1.5 million people online playing this game right now? Call of Duty did not have 1.5 million people people playing anytime concurrently. Not even close, not even close. But they had the number one total players according to Activision. Well, I don't know what the fuck that means. That means that basically they couldn't say they had the most concurrent players or the most games sold because otherwise they would have put that down. What they have is number one total players because Game Pass has inflated that exponentially. And I'd also imagine that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is the quickest game to die in Call of Duty history because most people have already quit playing. So once again, Activision out here just trying to lie. Their game's dying. Like, why don't they listen to us? Like, Hey, Activision, here's a pro tip for you. How about go back to what made the game great, like not disbanding lobbies, not having a manipulative skill-based matchmaking and an engagement optimization matchmaking, skill-based damage, all that nonsense. How about make the actual game what it used to be? How about you get rid of all this nonsense skins and all this nonsense extenuating crap that you put in the game, suck in the dongs of all these Twitch stream and simp ass, cheating and hacking, whitelisting douchebags, and actually try to make the game great, because obviously the numbers aren't good even though they're trying to lie and try to make it look like it is good through lawyer speak and manipulating the actual words and structures of the sentences so you don't actually tell the truth the next thing we need to talk about is how nade shot of all people nade shot the call of duty mcdonald's fry servant turned ceo of 100 thieves out here completely put call of duty on blast and completely exposed them for lying about their anti-cheat and how good ricochet is and it's awesome to see that because we need more 
adults instead of these simp ass Gen Z Call of Duty Activision COD COD <laughs> tacking whitelisted small PP energy dweebs. We need the men like Nate Shot, people with big names in the community, calling out Activision. That's exactly what Nate Shot did, and Activision has just been busted again, again for lying. They're lying about the cheaters and hackers. They're lying about Ricochet. Nothing Activision says is the truth. So Call of Duty Updates tweeted this and Nate Shot exposes this tweet for lying. But also before I go any further, Call of Duty Updates has blocked me for reasons unknown. Because I never tweet at them because they all hate my content. They all realize I'm a big alpha male Trump support and Elon Musk, Doge, Crypto King, Call of Duty athlete. And they can't handle the power I'm bringing to a bunch of little beta male mass wearing quadruple vaccinated. <laughs> tweeted this out. Hashtag Black Ops 6, hashtag rank play, hashtag team ricochet. Miles will put hashtag more useless than tits on a bowl, more useless than heart at a lesbian convention with a bunch of bull dykes wearing flat flannel shirts and Doc Martin shoes. With an update on the ongoing work to combat cheating and rank play, AI systems continue to ramp up with code optimization to accelerate enforcements. Over 19,000 players bad since the mode launched. That's a fucking lie. Nate Shot called you out. Everyone's calling you out. You're lying. See in two seconds here. Hourly sweeps remove cheaters from the rank play mode and leaderboards. That's a lie. Thanks for the patience as our team continues to fight against cheaters. Lies. And they shot fires back with this hammer of truth. Can anyone send me some screenshots for the T250 leaderboard right now? I'm not at my PC. I want to confirm if this is true or not. This seems literally impossible because I've played the same cheater since day one and not a single one has even a scratch on them. Then he checks and everyone looks at the leaderboards, comes back complete prop. Baganda. 10 names minimum in the first three pages were legitimately spin button live on our streams. How could there possibly be 19,000 accounts banned when the most egregious abuse are giving us the middle finger on litter board? Are we crazy? What is going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on there, Mr. D. Call of Duty is a scam. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Everything about it is manipulated. Even the social media posts are nothing but bullshit. And this entire game, this entire franchise is slowly dying and people are finding out what the actual real truth is what's really happening and how much we're all being manipulated and how much this game is playing you and you are not playing the game but a shot sure is like gonna quit let's just keep it real here i know i've been blowing smoke up nate shot's butthole but let me keep it real with you right here right now nate shot making two hundred and fifty thousand plus dollars a month if not more on his twitch channel just from ad revenue and subs let alone donations so the guy's making probably four million dollars a year on his twitch channel and you think he's gonna quit playing call of duty the thing that's making all this money because i'll tell you what money talks bullshit walks and everyone hating on this game is going to hate on as long as they want as long as they can but they're never going to quit it because it's nothing but a money train even for people like me people are like why well, you just quit talking about it. quit playing the game because quitting talking about and playing the game doesn't pay any ad revenue mother that's why and no one is actually going to stop playing the game or making videos on it because it's a money train and that's the facts jack but if we're really being honest here, people like myself, those of you who are watching these videos and agree and think the way I do, are the extremely small minority compared to the vast majority who don't have a clue what they're doing or what's even going on in the Call of Duty community, just like the vast majority of people in the world don't have a clue of what's going on. 40 plus percent of eligible voters didn't even vote in the last presidential election, which got Trump elected. And that is something that the whole world would know about, but 40 percent don't even bother showing up to vote and something like Call of Duty, which is not even important to something like a federal election, has a 90 plus percent player count, player base that isn't even attuned or aware to what the is going on. But I make these videos for those of you who can watch, who do watch and will be informed and maybe make some kind of change somewhere, somehow out there and hopefully make Call of Duty better. Even though if I'm being honest with you guys, I doubt it does, but at least I'm trying. But that's the video, that's the facts. Activision lying out here, never telling the truth, fabricating player count, player numbers, artificially boosting up the player count and numbers of Call of Duty and then lying about it and then getting caught, busted and exposed by Nade Shot for lying about the actual anti-cheat and ricochet and what it's really doing. And of course they stayed lying about the skill-based matchmaking, engagement optimization matchmaking, the skill-based hit detection, skill-based damage profiles and everything else in this game. This game from top 
top to bottom is nothing but a lie and I recommend you all quit playing it now unless you got some kind of skin in the game or you enjoy being manipulated. Stop being a simp. Hit that like button, subscribe and be a stud. I'm the Ghost of Ape. Stay based. Question authority and don't let the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifters boon the moon base harp. The spray can house. 7 Eleven was an inside job. He's got a Google Tower 7 that Behemoth Grow Worse House or this flat. The moon landing was fake. Alex Jones, that's me. Infowars.net. I'm Bill Hicks. White man, bring you down.